Manchester United planning striker transfer to replace Anthony Marshall. Anthony Marshall may have played for Man United for the last time 126 days on from his last appearance against Bournemouth. Eric Ten had confirmed Manchester United would sign a striker in the summer amid their goal-scoring issues this season. Summer signing Rasmus Hodgland is United's top scorer with a modest 13 goals, while Anthony Marshall, the only other out-and-out -out senior striker, has not played since the reverse fixture with Bournemouth at Old Trafford on December 9 as he underwent groin surgery in January. United confirmed Marshall would be sidelined for 10 weeks but that was more than 11 weeks ago. The 28-year-old is out of contract in June and will be released after nine years with United. I don't know, Ten Hag said on the prospect of Marshall playing again for United. He's still with the medical team. He's out on the pitch, but if he will be available I don't know. When asked if Marshall had let United down over his prolonged layoff, Ten Hag replied, we have scored a lot of goals lately. Yet United still have a minus goal difference. So first part of the season we had a lack of goals, but I think after the winter we improved a lot on that fact. I think from January on we score in every game and also lately we have scored more than one time in games. Marshall, who has scored a measly 19 goals for United since the start of the 2020-21 campaign, only played in 28 of their 62 games last season, while the £72 million Hodgland, 21, arrived with a stress fracture of the back that delayed his debut by a month. The absence of a proven and dependable goalscorer has been compounded by Marcus Rashford's impotent form. Rashford plundered 30 goals last season, but only has eight this term. But Ten had continued to defend United's pre-season preparations. That is no doubt that we counted on him, Marshall, Ten had conceded. You need two strikers in a league we are in and the competitions. You need more options. You need double positioning in every position and some positions we didn't have the choices this season. The striker position, the left full-back position and that has a negative impact on the results. Last season we were even shorter, up front and came through that season very well. So the plan was quite logical to go into this season with an extra striker which we signed. That should have been enough to cover everything. I think it would help to sign a striker. As I always had in this plan we constructed that we should have had enough goals. You count on goals from Rashi, last season he had 30, you count on goals from Marshall. In my first season, he played very well and also in very important games he had a high impact on our performances. And then bringing in a goalscorer like Rasmus Hodgland it should have been enough goals. Eric Ten Hag sends message to Dan Ashworth and Jason Wilcox over Manchester United transfer plans. A sporting director and a technical director are among the incomings at Man United amid uncertainty over the manager. Eric Ten Hag has vowed Manchester United will be successful despite uncertainty over his position as manager. United are sixth in the Premier League table with a minus goal difference and are unlikely to qualify for the Champions League given they are 11 points behind Tottenham and Aston Villa in fourth and fifth. Although United have an FA Cup semi-final against Coventry City next week, the last time they won the Cup in 2016, they sacked manager Louis van Gaal two days later. Many United supporters have sympathised with Ten Hag as he's had to handle fallouts with a number of high-profile players, the interminable strategic review and the departures of former Chief Executive Richard Arnold and John Murta. United have also recorded 56 separate injuries or illnesses that have caused a player to miss a game this season. Ten Hag likened himself to a politician with a myriad of issues he has to contend with. The thing is you have to be realistic, he stressed. As a manager it's like a minister. Yeah, you don't have anything in your hands but at the end of the day you have to accept that. You are responsible for everything. And I take that. It's huge, the bad luck. A lot went against us this season. You see all the penalties we conceded last week could also have been going in another way. You think over the course of a season sometimes you will get one, sometimes you will concede one but this season it feels like we only concede. You couldn't expect this but you have to deal with it. But this business, this industry, is about results. Many only see results, but you have to see what's underneath. I see what's underneath. I see the potential. I see the direction. So I'm positive about the way we want to go and we will be successful.
Ten Hag's former club Ajax are mired in another crisis after they were thrashed 6-0 by Feyenoord last week. Ajax won the Eredivisie title three times under Ten Hag, but they are currently sixth in the table and 33 points behind leaders PSV Eindhoven. Some things you can't expect, but as you mentioned Ajax is similar, Ten Hag noted. I don't know if you follow what is happening at Ajax. I don't think so because the focus is not so huge from England to Amsterdam. But there are also issues and you can have the same problems and you see the same patterns. And you have to deal with it but some things and you don't, see it coming and you can't influence as a manager on it and it just happens. And then you have to make the best out of it. You can just for seeing this season, what's happening for you in the book this season. Ten Hag insisted Murtua's departure would not alter plans for the summer transfer window with United planning to bring in Dan Ashworth as sporting director and Jason Wilcox as technical director. Wilcox, the director of football at Southampton, could join United before the end of the season but the protracted wait for Ashworth is expected to extend beyond this season as he is on gardening leave at Newcastle. Ten Hag has had a huge influence on United's recruitment strategy since his appointment in 2022 but the hit rate has been iffy. Ten Hag defended recruitment on his watch and is open to Ashworth and Wilcox's suggestions, should he remain in charge beyond the end of this term. We are working in the background on plans with the scouting, Ten Hag clarified. So what we do with our staff is we are working on our plan. The plan is ready but we have to execute. And yeah I trust the new ownership will work as quickly as possible and bring new good structures and they can execute. We have good plans. I think also with quality players. You see now with recruitment. Andre Onana is doing very well. Rasmus Hodgland, everyone is seeing his big talent and potential. You can see we are doing quite good with recruitment. Lisandro Martinez everyone was hugely happy with him and there are others. Recruitment is good. But if they have even better ideas. We are always open and always you have to judge. If you have options but they come with better options, we are open. They have to fill us in. But we have a way we want to play, so we know our profiles. So it has to match the profiles we want. Eric Ten Hag sends message to Dan Ashworth and Jason Wilcox over Manchester United transfer plans. A sporting director and a technical director are among the incomings at Man United amid uncertainty over the manager. Eric Ten Hag has vowed Manchester United will be successful, despite uncertainty over his position as manager. United are sixth in the Premier League table with a minus goal difference and are unlikely to qualify for the Champions League given they are 11 points behind Tottenham and Aston Villa in fourth and fifth. Although United have an FA Cup semi-final against Coventry City next week, the last time they won the Cup in 2016, they sacked manager Louis van Gaal two days later. Many United supporters have sympathised with Ten Hag as he's had to handle fallouts with a number of high-profile players, the interminable strategic review and the departures of former chief executive Richard Arnold and John Murta. United have also recorded 56 separate injuries or illnesses that have caused a player to miss a game this season. Ten Hag likened himself to a politician with a myriad of issues he has to contend with. The thing is you have to be realistic, he stressed. As a manager it's like a minister. Yeah, you don't have anything in your hands but at the end of the day you have to accept that. You are responsible for everything. And I take that. It's huge, the bad luck. A lot went against us this season. You see all the penalties.